up, my name from Motorab. This is part two of the 100E body MX5 chassis build, which I've called the mongrel. So I got the body hacked off the other day. Now I'm gonna go and drag the MX5 in. Got to gut the whole interior, sort out all the wiring, and strip it down, hopefully start cutting some panels off it. And, um, basically just sort of get it to a point where I can start taking measurements from the MX-5, taking measurements from that and work out, you know, how they're best going to go together. So, um, yeah, let's drag the MX-5 in and uh, start stripping her out. Alright, so I've got the uh, seats out, roof off. Now I've got to get all the dash, interior carpets, just basically everything out. Alright, so this is how far I got. I've got pretty much everything out. The back half of the loom is disconnected. This loom comes through the bulkhead in three different places and then snakes off around the engine bay. Doesn't have a uh, separate harness for the car and then the engine bay, it doesn't look like. Which I was hoping that it did, because it just means you can. I could have uh, left all that connected and was hoping I'd be able to just unplug this piece of the loom but uh, I'm just going to work around that for the minute but basically this point here is where we're going to be working from so the 100E comes up this line at an angle so we'll be about here on the 100E body by the time we get up to here but we'll be joined in exactly on this inner sill at the base here, so um, I was hoping that I would be able to use a lot of this inner structure uh, rather than using what's on the 100E, because that's obviously rusty but um, yeah, I would have liked to have kept as much of this as possible but uh, by the time we get by the time we get in far enough to where I'm going to be 
on the 100E body, uh, there is nothing. So basically all this has got to go and then I will just, I'll, I'll end up making a lot of this structure at these points rather than trying to reuse uh, any of that. I'm just going to remake it. So all this bulk head's going to be staying. Um, and I'm going to cut along here under the windscreen, get rid of this whole windscreen panel pillars. All this pillar will be going. All this will be going. All this will be going. All this will be going. So I'll still have this piece that the tank sits in. will stay. Um, and then all this will be gone, obviously. And then inside the back of here I'll cut around the outer edge of this tub here so that that sort of line that you can see up there is, is matches up pretty well with the width of the sill at the bottom that we need so I'm going to try and maintain that dimension um, at the back here and then we got some rusty holes down in there anyway I'll get rid of that and then the boot floor, I will keep quite a bit of it for now, but I may end up just lopping this off at the back and then having the boot, the boot will just be basically open space that you'll probably just see through to the floor and then I'll have a tubular, basically just like a tubular support bar which will come out and support the back panel of the 100E. It just makes, um, just makes any future repairs easier if I were to hit it. But we'll see if this, you know, if that point there matches up exactly, almost exactly with the back panel of the 100E, you know, I may leave all this in and just connect off of that. But we'll just see whatever is going to work better once we've got the, once we've got the two bodies uh, matched up. And then at the front, um, I'm thinking this is going to have to come off at what point I'm not sure I'll probably I'll probably trace that sill line that lower sill line down there trace that line all the way down the front so that it's a it's basically a parallel line with that sill and then just cut this all off dead straight and it'll just make it'll just make everything nice and easy to square up then if uh, we've got parallel edges to work from and then I've got a lot of stuff in here which I'm gonna want to get rid of that'll be a later date there's a lot of stuff this stuff that can go um, it's got air con all that can go the ABS is gonna go and then up uh, pretty much all of this front structure so it'll be cut sort of down here and then somewhere down there we've got the um, anti-roll bar mounts it'll probably cut the frame off just in front of the anti-roll bar mounts and then this whole front end will come off but what I need to do now is basically just clean everything out try and tie this wire and loom up out of the way and then I think I'll probably start cutting these off and uh, look again this back end stripped down first maybe. Ended up just taking the whole loom out, disconnecting it all from the engine bay. It's quite a lot of work, but it needed to be done anyway. So um, I'd like to get that loom completely stripped, bare of everything that's not necessary in it, because this car is gonna basically have nothing in it other than what it needs to make it run and lights and everything like that. 
So that, that loom can probably be stripped down to um, less than half of what it is now. And then like if you ever have a fault or something, you know that all the wires you've got in there are specifically doing a, a purpose and you haven't got a, a loom full of dead wires. It just makes, you know, if you ever have any problems, it's just a lot easier if you've just got stuff that is actually doing a job. Um, and it'll just be a lot neater, a lot less wiring going back in the car afterwards. So I'm pretty much ready to start hacking now. I'm just gonna clean everything out, get all the rubbish out. I wanted to cut this uh, wing off just so I could see what was going on behind it basically. Lots of rust, don't matter, we don't need this bit anyway. The inner one is good, we're keeping that so that's fine. And now uh, I wanted to have a look down in this sill and see how many layers of uh, steel this has got in it. And um, it's got a lot, I think it's there's two layers here and then it looks like it's got sort of an inner outer sill and then an outer outer sill because obviously being a convertible they put all the strength, extra strengthening in, in the sills to make up for the fact that there's no roof on it to brace it. So these, these sills are essentially what is holding this car together. So I'm cutting all that off, cutting all the strength away. For this, but it's not really going to be an issue in uh, in that car because it's going to have a roof on it and it's going to have a full welding roll cage in it. So, but for making sure this stays straight, once I cut all that off, I'm going to have to put a couple of braces in just to hold everything. Looking at the layout of it all, I don't think it would move uh, because of the way these cars are set up underneath. Uh, I don't think it would move, but I'll put them in just in case. And uh, the plasma cutter is not really liking this painted steel very much. So I can see me doing most of this with a grinder. So I think it's going to take some, take some doing. All right, that's it for today. It's taken me a whole day to get this far, which doesn't really look like I've done much, but um, I'm pretty much ready now to get hacking. I think by the end of tomorrow I should have this cut down to where it's uh, where I need to be to start getting some decent measurements and um, working out where things are going to go. I'll be back on this tomorrow for a full day of grinder action. Just watch him. See ya.